Hey everybody, welcome back. One of the coaches of Unger Academy here and today we're going to be talking about how you can build a breakout strategy on hourly bars. But before we start, I invite you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet, of course. Click on that bell notification and leave a like for this video. It really means so much to us. So we really thank you for your time. Hi, we are the Unger Academy and we teach traders how to make money in the markets. Our founder, Andrea Unger, had been struggling with trading for years until he developed his automated trading method, which he used to become the only four-time world trading champion. Subscribe to our channel for free tips and tricks. Well, so here we are on the bars, or more precisely the candlesticks in this case of the gold market, namely the future on gold quoted on CME. As you can see, we've applied to this market a strategy that trades both long and short positions but in different hours of the day, taking advantage of the bias that characterized this market. And then the strategy waits for a breakout of an hour bar because we're using a 60 minute time frame. So each bar, or each candlestick in this case, identifies a period of one hour. There will also be a very narrow price channel on this hourly time frame. So we'll wait for a, a very close confirmation, a breakout in the last one to five bars. In this case, I've already optimized the strategy. So let's go take a look at it now. So let's go through it together to see how it works. So the inputs of the strategy are set at the beginning. I used the session end time, namely 5 p.m. New York time on the gold market, to calculate a counter that will simply count the bars starting from the start of each new session. So at 5 p.m., which is the last bar of the previous session, the counter will have an initial value of 1. And then each time a new bar is created, the value of the counter will increase by one. Then the counter will always reset itself at 5 p.m., namely at the end of every session. The stop loss was also set at $1,700. And then there are some other inputs, a long entry start bar, short entry start bar, long entry duration, and short entry duration. These inputs help us to identify the time window in which we will look for the breakouts on hourly bars. You can see that here in the entry conditions, the bar counter must be greater than the bar we set as the initial input and less than the duration, which will identify the hours of the day when the strategy can work. As you can see, we'll make long entries starting from the 18th bar up to four hours. So the system will place the orders from the 18th bar to the 22nd bar. While on the short side, we'll enter at the ninth bar and we'll be able to enter for a maximum of three hours, which means from the ninth bar to the 12th bar. I then inserted two variables, which are HH and LL, which are highest high and lowest low, using the functions of multi-charts, highest FC and lowest FC, where FC stands for fast calculation. But you probably already knew that. Then we're going to optimize, and as I told you, I've already done it, the period of this channel to figure out up to how many bars back to go to find the breakouts. In this case, I've used one. So we'll buy if the high of this bar breaks the high of the previous bar and we are inside our time window. On the short side, we used a longer period because the futures are American and most of the trades take place during the European afternoon or evening. Well, not that much happens on these markets at night, so we need a more important breakout. Not only the previous bar, but maybe rather the lowest low of the last three bars. Now for the exit conditions of the strategy. At one in the morning, exchange time again, we'll sell closing the long positions. While at 9 a.m. we'll close the short positions. In the last line, we can see the conditions of the stop loss, which as I told you is set at $1,700. Now let's look at the results of the strategy. As I told you, the strategy has already been optimized, but since you know all the inputs, you can also play with it and develop it in a slightly different way. Here's the report of the strategy, which is very nice. I mean, look, the equity line is really very good. Yeah, in the first part of the back test, mainly the years from 2010 to 2014, we do see that the performance of this system was very high indeed. Whereas in the last few years, it has gradually decreased. You can see it from this chart. The slope of the equity curve is somewhat less positive than before. The average trade of the strategy right now is only $52 because of the clearly huge number of trades involved. We are simply exploiting this bias through a confirmation using hourly bars, but nothing more than that. 
So for example, we could add some filters such as the patterns or market conditions to help the strategy perform better. Let's also look at the annual period analysis, that is to say the year-by-year -year results. Let's look at the graphical representation of the returns and drawdowns. And as you can see in the first part of the back test, the results were much higher. Probably it was a pretty isolated case. And then after 2014, there are positive years, but certainly with less gains compared to previous years. This doesn't mean that the idea is broken or that it can't be used, but simply that in recent years, this market has probably been less volatile compared to the years 2010 to 2014. This means that strategies of this type are affected because obviously there's a decrease in the average trade and in the potential gain from each new position. Of course, this strategy can be improved. Right now, the weakness is caused by the average trade, which is too low to be used in live trading on this market. Remember that a single tick on gold is worth $10. So here we'll only have five ticks of average trade, but it will be possible to increase the average trade of the strategy by adding some filters. Well, I leave to you this challenging task, hoping to have simplified your life. And I really hope that this video has helped you, at least to get started. Please leave us your feedback in the comments below and don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the release of all our new videos. Below you'll also find a link to a completely free webinar by the four-time world trading champion Andrea Unger, who will explain step by step how to approach systematic trading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.